Hello, everyone, and welcome to WisconsinPrepZone.com and our Friday tailgater, getting you all set for the Week 3 high school football action around the area. I'm Rob Hernandez coming to you from Breitenbach Stadium in Middleton, where Madison Edgewood will kick off Badger South Conference play tonight at 7 o'clock against the Milton Red Hawks. We'll get to that game in just a minute. Our featured game tonight on WisconsinPrepZone.com and in Saturday's Wisconsin State Journal features the Middleton Cardinals, the other team that calls Breitenbach Stadium home as they hit the road for Bree Stevens Field to take on Madison East in a showdown game in the Big 8 Conference. Yes, that's right, I said a showdown game in the Big 8. Middleton, my pick to uh, win the Big 8 Conference, uh, overwhelming favorite at the start of the season, has been anything but overwhelming in getting to off to a 2-0 start. The Cardinals have won their two games over Janesville Parker and Verona by a combined six points, so a few more gray hairs on the head of Tim Simon, but his Cardinals are 2-0 going into this game against East, which uh, the Pergold is a good reflection of how good the Big 8 Conference is this year. They were picked to finish last in the conference this season by one website, and they're off to a 2-0 start. A couple pleasant surprises on offense. Their quarterback, Ruben Arndt, and their running back, Amadou Daff, They've been uh, doing a lot of the work uh, offensively to get uh, East off to uh, their perfect start. But uh, this is a huge game tonight for East against the perennial powers from Middleton. A year ago, East went 1-8. and eight. Only two of their eight losses, though, by more than eight points. One of them to Middleton by a score of 40-6. to six. So that'll be a big game down at Bree Stevens Field. John Mason will have all your updates right here on WisconsinPrepZone.com. And, of course, his right up in the Saturday Wisconsin State Journal. Two other games of note tonight in the Big 8 Conference, one involving the Verona Wildcats, who will be looking to bounce back from last week's heartbreaking 7-3 loss to Middleton right here at Brighton Box Stadium in that driving rain that seemed to plague all the games across southern Wisconsin a week ago. Verona hits the road this week for Monterey Stadium in Janesville, where the Wildcats will take on Janesville Craig, looking to avenge last year's controversial loss to Craig and at the same time maybe knock the Cougars out of their share of first place in the Big 8. Craig off to a 2-0 start following wins over Beloit Memorial and crosstown rival Janesville Parker. And don't overlook Madison LaFollette's game tonight at Mansfield with Madison West. The Lancers of the other team off to a 2-0 start and tied for first in the Big 8 Conference. But West has lost two tough games to Verona and Madison East, so the regions figure to be a handful for LaFollette. Again, that game tonight, 7 o'clock over at Mansfield. Switching gears back to the Badger South and coming right back here to Brighton Box Stadium, as we mentioned earlier, Madison Edgewood opening conference play tonight against Milton in a 7 o'clock game. Mike Hockett will be here with all your updates on WisconsinPrepZone.com. The Crusaders of Madison Edgewood off to an 0-2 start, but both of those losses to good, good teams out of the Badger North, Wanakee and Reedsburg, both those teams 2-0 so far this season. Milton has only lost once so far this season. That last week at home to Wanakee, a 28-0 setback. So a big ball game here to kick off Badger South Conference play between Edgewood and Milton. In theory, both those teams trying to keep pace with Monona Grove. Elsewhere in the Badger South, speaking of Monona Grove, they've got a tough one tonight down at Oregon. Two teams off to 2-0 and starts following Badger Conference crossover play the first two weeks of the season. And uh, Monona Grove, though, looking awfully, awfully good under first-year coach Brandon Beckwith. They are 2-0 and after impressive wins over Mount Hora, Barneveld, and DeForest. Speaking of the Norskis of DeForest, they have a tough one to open Badger North Conference play, hitting the road tonight for a game at Reedsburg. Last year, the Beavers of Reedsburg hung a 49-27 loss on DeForest in a shootout at DeForest, so promises to be an entertaining game tonight up at Reedsburg as those two teams kick off Badger North Conference play. Two more weeks of non-conference games for teams in the Capital Conference, but there's a good one on tap tonight in Columbus where the Cardinals take on those other Cardinals, the Cardinals of Marshall, in a 7 o'clock game. Again, a non-conference game, doesn't count in the conference standings, but uh, both of these teams, Columbus and the Badger in the Capital North and Marshall in the Capital South, expected to contend for conference titles. So they'll try to uh, harness some, some momentum uh, as we uh, approach conference play in a couple weeks as they square off tonight at 7 in Columbus. Finally, two other games to keep an eye on around the area. Blackhawk playing at Pecatonica Argyle. That game tonight at 7 in Blanchardville. Blackhawk off to a 2-0 start in conference play. Peck Argyle stepped out of the conference last week to win a game against Iowa Grant, so they're 2-0, 1-0. But uh, both teams so far unbeaten in conference play and looking awfully good. But Peck Argyle, especially uh, after that week one win over Potosi at uw Platteville, seems to have the inside track on a conference title. But Every week's going to be a tough one in the Six Rivers, and tonight the Blackhawk Warriors look to spring the upset against Peck Argyle again. 7 o'clock kickoff tonight in Blanchardville. 
The Swall Opens Conference play tonight, and the big one in Swall play will be at Mineral Point, where the Pointers play host to Fenimore. Fenimore, the Golden Eagles, almost knocked off D5 state champ Lancaster in Week 1, dropping a 21-13 decision to bounce back last week to win 40 to nothing over Richland Center. Mineral Point, one of four teams to come through the first two weeks of play in non-conference action in the Swall with uh, a 2-0 record. And uh, the Pointers, though, have their hands full tonight with Fenimore. And again, league play kicking off tonight. That game, a 7 o'clock contest down at Mineral Point. Before we uh, leave you, let's take a quick look at the entire schedule of games around the area. Tonight on the WisconsinPrepZone.com scoreboard. So there you have it, the full schedule of games from around the area tonight. And of course, we'll have all your scores, updates, and observations from the games on our live blog at WisconsinPrepZone.com and on Madison.com. You can check out uh, that uh, starting at about 4.30 this afternoon. We'll get that fired up and uh, give us uh, join the conversation on Twitter. That hashtag again, pound W-I-S-F-B, the football hashtag for all the scores and updates from games that you might be at around the area. Or if you want to check out uh, the uh, updates, of course, check out our live blog at WisconsinPrepZone.com. We'll be pulling in tweets from all over the area, all over the state with uh, week three action. Of course, we just rolled out a new look to our website at WisconsinPrepZone.com. So look for that WisconsinPrepZone.com logo. That'll be your point of entry to our live blog tonight on WisconsinPrepZone.com. So there you have it. That's our week three Friday tailgater from Brighton Box Stadium in Middleton. For WisconsinPrepZone.com, I'm Rob Hernandez.